The reason Mr. Vargas should be Teacher of the Year is because not only is he an amazing teacher and helps all of his students understand the material, but he also understands them as people and helps them through whatever they're going through. Mr. Vargas should be Teacher of the Year because he really helps us succeed and he uh, he introduces science to us that we would never meet, like see anywhere else. He just does a really great job teaching and he always helps like the kids and like helps us learn even more than we actually thought we learned about like a bunch of different topics. And... Uh, Mr. Vargas like he just really deserves it because he's put a lot of time and effort and He's always like there to help you out, like whether it's anything really. Mr. Vargas is capable of winning a Teacher of the Year because he runs some of like the biggest programs in our school and even in the state, like his space program. And he's always, and there's not a day in his class that you don't learn something new. And he's always helping us and you always learn something when you're with him. When I was in Europe, we used to go to this place outside of Naples. And this place was legit, man. It was like unbelievably, I mean, it was, it was good stuff. And uh, one of the coolest things they would do there is the, uh, the waiters would come in and they would like strip the table, like old school style. And I mean, they were, they were, they were good, they were really good. And uh, if you know what you're doing, it's actually not that difficult, but uh, it just looks wicked awesome. But here's the thing, you know, it, it's Newton's first law in, in action because, you know, if your plates are heavy enough, and these are kind of quasi heavy, uh, you know, they shouldn't move if you pull the, table out from underneath it. So I'm gonna make it interesting. I'm gonna pour a little something some here. Because there is a chance I might be uh, covered in water here. So let's see, let's see if I can pull this off. Here we go. Alright, here we go. You ready? Alright, ready? Three, two. Did I ever tell you that story about uh <laughs> No? Okay, alright, alright, here we go. Wait, yeah, I got the corner there. Get it. Good call, good call. I could have been covered in water. All right, here we go, right? All right, three, two, one. Yeah! You know, when I walk into the room, I have, uh, you know, 38 to 42 kids, and they're all looking at me. And my job is to educate every single one of them. I got to get to every single one of them in a one-on-one -on -one basis. I got to educate them in the fundamentals of physics. But more importantly, I got to teach them life skills. And I gotta teach them how to be a citizen. I gotta teach them how to do the right thing. I gotta teach them right from wrong. I gotta make sure that they understand that uh, I care about them and that they're cared about. Uh, and sometimes that's a lot harder than it sounds. I also gotta do that by maintaining you know, decorum. Sometimes my kids would say I'm kind of strict, but they'll also tell you that I'll do anything for them. And uh, I think when you bring that combination together, uh, you got a winning formula. Yeah. Nothing? No. That's awesome. Isaac Newton, man. Students today, you know, they, they want to be led. They want to be taught. They want to be, uh, you know, directed to, hey, what do I got to do? Tell me what I got to do. And they'll follow you if they believe in you. And as long as you're willing to, you know, put forth effort and show them that you're willing to put forth effort, they will follow you. It's real life and uh, it's very uh, awesome uh, getting a chance to to be involved in those kinds of life experiences with students, and uh, I, I love it. Nice! Auto, auto redemption. Skills, baby. I love skills. skills.